Hi, this is Josh from Over the Shoulder Coding. And today I'm walking you through a quick tutorial on CSS with Flexbox. A friend of mine showed me this really cool game called Flexbox Froggy, where you use CSS properties for Flexbox to move frogs around this grid here onto the lily pads. And it's a really good way for you to learn the properties of Flexbox and internalize it. And I thought I'd do a tutorial walking you through the 24 different levels of Flexbox Froggy. So let's go ahead and get started. What we need to do is guide the frog to the lily pad on the right by using the justify content property. The justify content property aligns items horizontally and accepts the following values. It has flex start, which aligns the items to the left of the container. So this side, the flex end will put it on the right side of the container. The center will align items in the center of the container. Space between will display items with equal spacing in between them, but with the items on either end. And space around will display items with equal spacing around them with some space on both ends of the items. So. If we use justify content flex end, it's gonna move this frog over to the end of the container. So let's go on to the next step. We're gonna use justify content again in level two to move the two frogs, the yellow and green frog into the center. So the green frog on the green lily pad and the yellow frog on the yellow lily pad. So what we need to do is center them and there we go. So when they move over to the lily pads, then we can go on to the next level. So in this one, we're gonna have three frogs and we need to move them to the respective lily pads and we need to space them out. So we can see here if we did justify and we did end, like we did before, they would go all the way to the right. So the red one would kind of be there, but the green and the yellow would be way off. Likewise, if we did center, the yellow one would be there, but the green and the red would be off. So we need to space these items out. So we can try space between to get them, but the green one is on the very end and the red one's on the very end. So we want some space on the left side of the green and some space on the right side of the red. So we can do space around. Great, so we match them to their lily pads and you just saw all five of the possible values for justify content in use. So this one was what we did just then for space between, so we know exactly what it should be. All right, now we have a new Flexbox property. So it's called align items. And this is going to align items vertically in the container. So flex start is gonna put things at the start. Flex end is gonna put things at the bottom. Center is gonna be vertically centered. Baseline is gonna display them at the base of the container and stretch is gonna stretch them to fit the container. So here we want to move them to the bottom. So let's try flex end. So we moved them to the bottom of this container. So now we want to move the frog to the exact middle of the container. So both vertically and horizontally middle. So we know justify content is going to move its center horizontally and align items is gonna move it center vertically. So you can see here that we can combine all these different CSS properties to move items around in their containers. All right, so now we want to move them to the bottom and spread them out. So let's move them to the bottom first. So now we have the frogs on the bottom of the container and we want to spread them out. All 
All right, looks right. So now we have a new Flexbox property, Flex Direction. So this defines the direction on the main axis. So here we have the regular row that's going across like that. We can also do row reverse, which it's going to make it horizontal right to left. We can also do column. So it's going to arrange them vertically instead of what we've had right now so far has only been horizontally. What we want is row reverse, which is going to go right to left horizontally. So we just played around with the vertical one. which arranges it vertically. Now, we can mix these together and reverse the order like we just did. So we have green, yellow, red, and then we can use justify content to move them to the end. So normally we're going right to left and so now this is the beginning, the start of the container. And this part, the left part, is now the end of the container since we're using reverse. So this one is tricky. So if we put it in column to get the frogs vertically, normally to move things up and down, we would use align items. But let's see what happens here when we say center, they moved horizontally, which previously is what justify content did. So actually justify content is going in the direction of the flex direction. So if you're going in column, justify content is going to go in column and align items is going to go across the main axis. So since we're going vertically with flex direction column, we need to use justify content and move it vertically because we're now using columns. All right, so we know we need to move them in columns with flex direction. But we also need to reverse it since red is on top. And we're going to use justify content since we're now going vertically to spread them out. All right, so what are we going to do in this one? We know we need to continue to have it in a row, but reverse since green needs to be going right to left. So we can first do flex direction. Which means that the start is on the right hand side now and we want it centered. So we're going to do justify content to center it. And we're going to align things on the bottom. Great. So we moved up to level 14 and we're halfway through, but things are getting a little bit more tricky now. If you haven't played around with classes before, comment down below and let me know so maybe I'll make a video on it. And you should also subscribe while you're at it. That way you know when the video will come out. So just a quick recap on classes. This period right here is going to assign this yellow class specific property. So we can inspect it and see that this frog has both the frog class and the yellow class. So if we do CSS on just the yellow class, only the HTML elements that have the yellow class are going to be affected. So if we say uh, yellow order one, it's going to order all the yellow objects to be one, which is going to be behind order zero. Same thing here. The red is over here and everything has order zero to begin with. And we're going to move the frog red to the beginning by doing order negative one. Here again, we can just affect the yellow class 
or the yellow frog by affecting the yellow CSS class by aligning it to the bottom. And instead of aligning all the items in a container, we're using align self, which is just going to align the item itself to the bottom. So here you can see in the entire pond, we're aligning all the items to the start, except we're overriding it with the yellow assigned self flex end. All right, so now we're mixing two properties again. We're saying that all the yellows are going to be behind the greens. And they're going to be on the bottom. So align self, move them to the bottom. And order one, move them to be behind the greens. All right, so what about this? We have a lot of frogs, too many to fit on a row. We need to split them up on two rows. So we're going to use the flex wrap property, which has no wrap, wrap, wrap reverse. So wrap is going to do normal wrapping like in a paragraph. Wrap reverse is going to go left to right, then right to left. So we want normal wrapping. Great. All right, so for this one, we need them to go vertically and then wrap around. And we also need some space between the minor axis. So the major axis is going vertically. We need some space on the minor axis. So flex direction column and flex wrap wrap. All right. What we did just then was change the direction and add wrap, but we can do both at the same time in a combined property called flex flow. So we're saying column wrap all together. So we have a new property on level 21, which is align content. We see here that we have flex wrap, which wraps the items around but we need all the items, all the frogs at the top of the pond. And the only thing we know up until now is align items. And we can put them at the flex start, but it only moves the top of the items to the flex start. So if we do flex end, you can see the opposite. Only the bottom is moved to the end. What we need to do is to move all the items and control the spacing between the items. So that's why we need to do align content to control where the items are and the spacing between the items. So flex start is going to move them all to the start and not put any spacing in between the items. All right. So same thing if we want to move them all to the bottom. We'll do flex in. All right. So we want to move things in columns and bunch them together. So we can do flex direction column, but it's not the right order. So we need to reverse it. And we need to bunch things together in the center. So we're going in columns right now. We can use align content to adjust the minor content, the minor axis to squeeze things together. So align content center. Great. All right. So last level, this is where everything comes together. So we know that things need to be vertical like that. And we know that we want the green and red on the same line and the yellow on a different line. So we need some sort of wrapping. And we can do reverse wrapping 
to have it start from the other end. And we can also reverse the column so that we're starting from the bottom up. So before, with just column, the red, we're going top to bottom. Now with column reverse, was going bottom up. Um, wrap, we were going wrapping bottom up left to right. With wrap reverse, we're going bottom up and then reverse wrap the other way around. So we're going bottom up, then right to left. We also need to space the items out so we can do align items or align content space between. So push them out to the edges of the container. And we also want to center it along the major axis. So justify content center. Great. So we finished all 24 levels. You should have a pretty good idea about how these different flex properties affect the items within a container. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share the video with anybody you know who is struggling with CSS Flexbox. Thanks, and I'll see you later.